Hey crypto family, so what a week it's been for Bitcoin. It actually passed over 9,000 to a high of $9,442 today. That is crazy to think about seeing where it was a couple months ago. But as you can see, it's up 2% today to $9,000. You have Ethereum down 0.15% to $268 and XRP up 3% to 42.3 cents. So again, a lot of the altcoins aren't really doing much. Up a couple percent, down a couple percent. Bitcoin has been the main player. If you've been 100% in Bitcoin over the past couple weeks, you are sitting on a nice amount of gains. But looking here at the chart, you can see on the daily chart that this resistance of 9400 has still held strong even during this rally. So that's going to be the next point we're going to be looking at. But you can see the support level right now is that 84 to 8500 dollar level. So if we do retest support, this is the level I'm looking for us to retest. You can see the RSI is starting to get a little overbought, but again, still plenty of room to run. You can see right now the longs versus shorts. The shorts are actually overcoming the longs. But as you know, the more shorts we have, the more possible there is for a short squeeze, which basically means that shorts are forced to cover and purchase back the longs, which pushes the price back even further. So again, that's something to keep in mind as well if we do continue this rally. But again, right now, the two points I'm looking for are this 9400 resistance or this 8500 support. So hopefully we can maintain the support and continue higher. But first article I'm going to go over is a couple reasons why I think you know Bitcoin has been rising. So a good metric to look at here, it says Bitcoin surpasses 1 million daily active addresses. It says Bitcoin just passed an interesting milestone today, one we haven't seen since November 27, 2017. According to Coinmetrics.io, there are now over a million daily active addresses a number that is defined as the number of unique from or to addresses used per day. So I want you all to keep this in mind. November 27, 2017. You remember 2017 was the day, was the year when we went to $20,000. And for this to be over a million transactions, we haven't had that in over a year. That's crazy. That tells you exactly how much activity that we're seeing right now. And a big metric I want to point out here says when Bitcoin first broke a million active addresses, one Bitcoin was 93.52 and the median transaction fee was $3.23. Yesterday, one Bitcoin was 82.30 and the median transaction fee was $1.33. So actually, this article was written yesterday. So today, Bitcoin's actually, you know, over $9,000 and the transaction fee is about $1.60. So that's still nearly half of what it was on November 27, 2017. So that tells you exactly how efficient we have been with Bitcoin and exactly, you know, how much better it's getting as more users adopt it and the technology is evolving. So that's something to keep in mind. And the second article I want to go over today is one that talks about Facebook's Libra. So as you know, Facebook has been announcing that they will have their Facebook global coin coming out very soon. And some people are expecting that to be June 18th. But this article basically talks about a lot of the mainstream adoption and it says social media giant Facebook will unveil the Libra Association which will operate its bespoke cryptocurrency Libra on June 18th. Cryptocurrency news outlet The Block reported on June 14th. Now it says Facebook and dozens of its partners will unveil the Libra Association which will be based out of Geneva. Now one thing I want to point out here is how many people they have backing it. So it says most recently, news broke that Facebook has allegedly sealed backing from over a dozen firms that include Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, and Uber for its soon-to-be unveiled cryptocurrency project. Each firm reportedly contributed $10 million to the project. That is insane. These companies, massive companies, are really investing over $10 million to this project. So that tells you how much they believe in it and exactly how much you know, of a future they think that it can help their business. Now, the second article kind of piggybacks on the first article, and it says, Crypto CEO launch a Facebook Libra could boost Bitcoin past 10,000. And it basically, he's talking about how it increases adoption. It says, Crypto market rallying again ahead of Libra launch, marking a massive inflection point in global adoption of cryptocurrency. Bitcoin greater than $10,000 by June 21st, mark making the start of crypto summer. And this, he mentioned this June 15th. And basically, what he's saying is once Bitcoin reaches 10,000, there's going to be a level 10 FOMO that'll grace the market. And it says this last occurred when Bitcoin blipped above 4,500 in late 2017. Now, as you know, the more that Bitcoin's price increases, the more FOMO that happens, the more news coverage that 
it adopts and again just the more eyes that become on Bitcoin so I can definitely see as we pass 10,000 it's a big milestone and a lot of people are jumping on board and just accelerating to that $20,000 mark but again there's always other sides to this and he says Peter Schiff a prominent gold investor ventured that Facebook's latest project will be bad news for Bitcoin so he thinks that basically a lot of people will use Facebook's global coin instead of Bitcoin but you got to remember Bitcoin is digital gold so that is the main use for that it's not really used as a spending tool per se more so as a store of value so that's something that they aren't accounting for so something to keep in mind uh, you know looking forward to this increasing the mainstream adoption of crypto and again just what this has for the crypto space so with that if you enjoyed this video please give it a like comment if you have any questions and please subscribe if you haven't appreciate all my subscribers and viewers until next time thanks for watching